Tiruchirappalli International Airport IATA, TRZ, ICAO, VOTR, is an international airport serving Tiruchirappalli in the state of Tamil Nadu, India. It is located on National Highway 336, about 5 km miles south of the city centre. The airport is ISO 9001-2008 quality certified and was declared an international airport on 4 October 2012. It is the third largest airport in Tamil Nadu in terms of total passenger traffic next to Chennai and Coimbatore. The airport is served by three Indian and four foreign carriers providing direct connectivity to three domestic and five international destinations. The airport covers an area of 702 acres. Topic: History This airport was established by the British during World War II and was primarily used by the British Air Force during the World Wars. Warplanes were brought to the airport and taken to a workshop in Panmalai, two kilometres away for repair and maintenance. The airport was given permission for civilian operations after the war ended. The first known history of flight landing at the airport dates back to 1936 when the first airmail for Colombo from India was carried by the Tatas. Goodwill flight piloted by H.D. Baruka on 23 December 1936, which took off from Bombay for Colombo after stopping at Hyderabad, Madras and Trichinopoly. Commercial flights on the Bombay—Trivandrum—Turchinopoly route was operational during 1941. After Ceylon government seeking permission to operate flights between Colombo and Trichinopoly in 1947, Indian government improved the aerodrome for full functioning and allowed flight operations to Colombo in 1948. After that Air Ceylon inaugurated a regular weekly commercial service between Colombo and Karachi on 3 December 1948, using a Dakota flight with passengers through Tiruchirappalli and Bombay, after Air Ceylon Sri Lankan Airlines began operations to Sri Lanka in the late 1940s, Indian Airlines started services in the 1980s. The airlines operated flights from Trichy to Colombo through Jaffna. This was a customs airport until 4 October 2012, when it was given an international airport status by the Ministry of Civil Aviation. Terminals The airport has two adjacent terminals. The integrated passenger terminal is used for both international and domestic air traffic. The old terminal has been converted into an international cargo complex. The 4,000 square meters square feet cargo complex was commissioned for operations on 21 November 2011. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Integrated Passenger Terminal. The active integrated passenger terminal built at cost of 80 crore rupees $11 million was inaugurated on 21 February 2009 and started operations from 1 June 2009. The two-story terminal has a floor area of 11,777 square meters (126,770 square feet) with handling capacity of 0.49 million passengers per annum and peak hour capacity of 470 passengers. Some of the features of the new terminal include 12 check-in counters 4 custom counters 1 departure plus 3 arrival 16 immigration counters 8 departure plus 8 arrival 3 conveyor belts 47 meters 154 feet each 1 baggage assistance counter 1 health officer counter 5 x-ray scanner for baggage 3 for registered baggage and 2 for hand baggage Four security check units, 210 CISF strength. Total aircraft stands equal seven. Three for Code D aircraft. Four for Code C aircraft. Three aero bridges. Parking space for 300 vehicles. The new terminal has two lounges: VIP lounge managed by AAI and Commercial Important Persons (CIP) lounge, also managed by AAI. Topic. Cargo terminal The old terminal was converted into an international cargo complex at a cost of Rs 10 million. 
The 4,000 square meters (43,000 square feet) cargo complex was commissioned for operations on the 21st of November 2011. Out of which export wing occupies 2,193 square meters (23,610 square feet) and 1,750 square meters (18,800 square feet) for import wing. The Central Board of Excise and Customs had earlier approved and notified the airport as an air cargo complex. The one-time holding capacity of the cargo terminal is 250 metric tons the airport is the gateway for foreign export as there is no easy way for export from the central region of Tamil Nadu. On the 12th of July 2013 the Ministry of Finance has notified Trichy International Airport for international courier cargo movement. But the facilities for the same are yet to be set up by AAI. On the 11th of October 2013 a 5 metric ton capacity cold storage facility was inaugurated at the cargo section. This facility will be helpful during flight delay, flight cancellation, advance booking and holiday bookings of cargo. On the 21st of April 2017, a dedicated import cargo facility has been created on 190 square meters, 2000 square feet at a cost of 20 lakh rupees, $28,000 to encourage more imports through the airport. At present the imports are very minimal as compared with the exports. On 1 July 2017, Eddy facility has been introduced at the cargo terminal. With this facility speedy and electronic clearance of freight is assured eliminating the manual process, making the export process more simple. This is expected to pave way for additional commodities being exported from the airport. <laughs> Runway Airlines and destinations Expansion Tiruchirappalli Airport has been undergoing expansion since 2004. The runway was extended from 1,829 meters (6,000 feet) to 2,480 meters (8,136 feet). Apron expanded to hold seven aircraft. Fire station upgraded. A new taxiway and integrated passenger terminal were constructed. The proposed Phase II expansion on 210 hectares (510 acres) by AAI includes extending the runway to 3,810 meters (12,500 feet), construction of a modern air traffic control (ATC) tower, additional building complex, and other works. The state government has agreed to provide land free to AAI for the expansion. Trichy is one of the non-metro airports selected for 200 crore rupees $28 million city-side development on public-private partnership model. <laughs> New integrated passenger terminal Due to the consistent increase in the air traffic, the integrated passenger terminal building with a total floor area of 11,777 square meters (126,770 square feet) to handle 470 peak hour passengers has become insufficient. Initially, it was planned to expand the existing integrated terminal by 180 meters on both sides by constructing an additional 17,920 square meters (192,900 square feet) area to increase the passenger handling capacity to 1075 peak hour passengers. But later, the Ministry of Civil Aviation initiated the construction of a new two-level passenger terminal at the cost of 897 crore rupees (120 million dollars). The new terminal building is of size 67,500 square meters, 727,000 square feet, with capacity to handle 3.43 million passengers per year with a peak hour handling capacity of 2,200 international and 500 domestic passengers. It will be constructed as per Griha, Green Rating for Integrated Habitat Assessment, four star standards. The terminal is to be constructed on the existing airport land available on the south side, for which a new four-lane elevated access road is to be created from the national highways passing besides the airport. AAI has engaged a French company, Aegis, in partnership with the English architects Pascal plus Watson, as the project managers has completed the design and plan for construction by March 2018. 
The tender for construction has been awarded to ITD Cementation India Private Limited by August 2018. The construction works are expected to begin by November 2018 and last till September 2021. This project includes the following Two level integrated terminal building, Parking for 750 automobiles, 250 taxis, and 10 buses, New air traffic control tower and technical block. New apron to accommodate 5 million Argentine pesos stands 5E code or 10C code aircraft. Upgrade of fire station to category 10. Expansion of cargo terminal. Airport systems. City side development. Rehabilitation of AAI residential colony and CISF accommodation, consisting of 118 units. The cost of the project is estimated at 951 crore rupees, 130 million dollars. Topic: Runway extension. As part of Phase II expansion the runway is planned to be extended to 3,200 metres 10,500 feet initially from the existing 2,480 metres 8,136 feet and later to 3,800 metres 12,500 feet. AAI has sought land to the state government and once land sought for the expansion is available the extension would take place. The district administration has expressed its willingness to pay the market price for the land to be acquired. But the extension of the runway is pending for a long time due to delays in acquiring land. The AAI has sought around 510 acres of land for the current expansion. Of the total about 188 acres are dry land, 116 acres wetland, 164.68 acres defense land, 40.59 acres wasteland and 5.80 is with Hindu religious and charitable trust. To facilitate fast process on airport expansion on January 2012 a joint technical advisory committee involving the Departments of Agriculture, Public Works Department and Revenue had been formed chaired by P. Kumar, Trichy MP. The district administration has formed a special team comprising the airport director, revenue divisional officer, joint director of agriculture, officials of public works department, and other agencies concerned to expedite the land acquisition process. In the joint advisory committee meeting on June 17, 2017, it was announced that the state government has given administrative sanction for acquisition of land required for the proposed expansion of the runway. The state government has provided administrative sanction to acquire nearly 345.62 acres in May 2017, including dry and wet lands, besides 40 acres of Porambok land. It has been decided to form a team to work on the exercise of land acquisition and payment of compensation. During December 2017 the Deputy Director General Defense Estates has provided in principle approval for providing 337.7 acres of land to the AAI in lieu of land of equal value from the state government. The district administration is also in process of acquiring residential buildings. With this the airport expansion has gained momentum. Topic: <laughs> Apron expansion. AAI has gone for the extension of existing apron with construction of third aero bridge and ramp equipment area measuring 2,800 sqm, at an estimated cost of 2.25 crore rupees The apron and aero bridge is under trials for three months starting August 2018. Ministry of Civil Aviation initiated plan to expand the apron to provide two more aircraft bays, increasing the bay count to nine, but this was dropped as part of new terminal construction which included additional apron with size of 15,580 sqm for parking up to 10 Code C aircraft type along with one isolation bay and GSE area including taxi tracks. Tenders was initiated during November 2017, and works started by August 2018, expecting to be completed in one year. Maintenance facilities Airworks has line maintenance facility to conduct transit checks on Airbus A320 type aircraft, which is the second one opened by them next to their Bangalore facility. It was opened on behalf of Singapore-based Scoot for its aircraft maintenance. The low-cost carrier Air India Express has an engineering stores complex for service and repairs of its aircraft. It would help quick turnaround. 
Repair works could be carried out here. Initially four licensed engineers and eight technicians are posted to meet the service and repair requirements of the aircraft. The stores would have adequate spares and equipment. Accidents and incidents On October 11, 2018, Air India Express Flight 611 to Dubai hit the ILS system and a boundary wall while taking off around 1.30 am. The plane diverted to Mumbai and landed around 5.35 am, with no one sustaining any injuries. The fuselage had considerable tears and cracks. Both pilots involved have been derostered. Topic. Naming the airport After the death of the former president of India APJ Abdul Kalam, there have been requests made to rename the airport as Dr. APJ. Abdul Kalam International Airport. <laughs> 